This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. This episode's gonna be real fun. I've got Trent Cunningham, one of my old jump rope partners, here with me, and he's actually gonna have his son demonstrate um, some two person, one rope stuff. And then we're gonna show you a little bit more advanced stuff that you can do when you've got two people and one rope. It's, uh, you know, sometimes called two person, one rope or traveler. So we're gonna demonstrate that. And uh, these tricks are a lot of fun. There's so much stuff that you can do if you've got two people that, you know, if you've got one person that's really good, one person that's not so great, you can do a lot of stuff. Or if you've got two people that are really good, you can do all sorts of really crazy things in two person one row. JV skill. Welcome. Happy to have you here. My little jump rope studio. This is my garage. <laughs> and we put all the messy parts in the back. I am Trent Cunningham, the jump rope guy. Uh, He's absolutely correct. And that voice will come out and help us soon. He's my faithful assistant. Uh, and remember, you can't stop the hop. Weekity, week, week. Copyrighted. Okay, <coughs> so here's what we're going to do today. Two person, one rope, because there are going to be two people with one rope. Crazy how that works. The whole, the whole idea to this trick is uh, teamwork. Because if one person's a little off, you can't make it happen. Uh, you can you can take an old person and a really young person and have some fun there. You can take two people with completely different skill levels, and you can still have a lot of fun with it, which we're going to show you today. I need my assistant to come up now. Carson, come up, please. Come on up. Stand right here. And look over at Peter. Uh, say, say your name. A little louder. Carson. And how old are you? You can say that. Do you like to jump rope? Yeah, he does. Okay. Take one step up. First, we're going to show you a little trick we've been working on. Okay, ready? Ready, buddy? When I say go, start jumping. Ready? Set. Go. Jump. 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 Go in a circle. Go in a circle. Yeah. And bow to Peter. Good. Okay, go sit down. That was one version of it. Now, the second one. You actually take the handles, one person has one, the other person takes the other, and you turn together and one person jumps. So come on up again, Carson. Take your handle. Go stand right over there. Good, right there. When I say go, let's start turning, okay? Ready, set, and turn. Good, just keep going like that. Perfect. And you get in here and you start to jump. You can do turns or you can mess up. That happens too, which is okay. Nice big turns, and jump, 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 and turn, and volcanic. Varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to do a little bit more advanced stuff. Trent was, uh, you know, going through all those basic things, what you can do with just one person and jumping and with Carson. Um, I'm going to be talking on this because Trent's going to be doing all the hard stuff. I get the easy part because I'm turning. Now, yeah, so I'm interpreting for his fine language. Excellent. Now, um, as a uh, turner with this, Trent's going to be doing um, all the – stuff here. We're going to show you basically him jumping around me, then I'm going to have him do a frog and a push-up. Now, with him, he just basically has to watch, like with the first part where he goes around me, I'm going to start turning here. He's going to go underneath uh, one arm. He can pick whichever direction he wants to go. Let's say he's going to go to my left, so he just goes under this arm. He's going to have to duck, especially since he's the same height as I am. He needs to make sure he ducks so he doesn't whack into my arm as he's going around. And as a turner, the only thing I have to watch is when he goes to this side, I have to bring my arm over a little bit to make sure he's got room, then he's behind me. Um, I'm always kind of watching my turning because if I jump like I would normally do, be doing by myself, the rope would come up and hit him. So I'm actually sort of pulling my arms back just a little bit to give him a little bit more room while he's going around. So for him to go around me, we first of all just start jumping. We're going to say, ready, set, go. Rope comes over, we start jumping. He turns, and we miss. So let's try that one more time. <laughs> ready, set, go. He turns, goes under. And that's how he goes around me. So 
you're basically just going around. He just needs to make sure he jumps. We can take either a bunch of jumps like we did, or you can even work on it going a lot faster. We're only taking a couple jumps. When you first do it, try doing it in a double bounce. Once you get that a little better, you want to do it in a single bounce. Now, for a frog, um, this is where it gets a little bit more fun. Now, for him, there's two ways we could do a frog. One, he could probably face forward, but I would get kicked more often than not. So, we do the trick once. Yeah, we do the trick once, and it's over. Um, <laughs> Now, now we've never <laughs> yeah we've never actually done that one so we always we, we figured out right away that probably wouldn't work well so we, we always have him turn sideways now when he turns sideways now from here what we're going to do is I'm actually going to have Trent move forward a little bit the way I always watch this is I want to have my shoulder my left shoulder matched up with his shoulder here this way I'm going to make sure I have enough room to be able to catch him while he's, going while he's going up, and I'm not going to hit him. Now, when you first do this, I'm going to start jumping. He's going to go up into his frog. I'm actually going to do a double bounce, and then when he jumps back, I'm going to pull the rope under his feet, so that way we're actually jumping the trick. So when we do this, we're going to start here. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Whoop. <laughs> Let's try that again. We actually haven't practiced this in a while. Let's try it one more time. So ready, ready, set, go. So you'll notice I do a double bounce there as he goes up, and I hit the uh, garage door. So this is kind of a tight room for us, but it's low ceiling, tight room, but we were able to make it. So you'll notice as he goes up, I can say, ready, set, go. When he goes onto his hands, I just do a double bounce and then pull the rope under his feet when he comes down. Now, you can do it as a high frog. Uh, we don't quite have enough room to do it in here. For that, I would actually pull the rope under in a single bounce under his hands and under his feet. Now, the last one we're going to show you really quick is a push-up. And for this, there's a multiple ways you can do the push-up. First one we're going to do, we're going to have Trent just facing forward, so his feet's going to go between my legs. Thing to remember here, just bring your feet apart when he goes out. And he'll go out, just do two push-ups, and then come back up. Ready? Go. So he goes out and up. And as a turner doing this, I just need to make sure that I'm reaching kind of far forward to get the rope in front of his hands and then pulling under. Now, once you got that, you can make it a little more difficult where he's doing some spins. And Trent's just going to do a combination of some turntable push-ups, just like you would be doing in double dutch, but he'll be doing it with me turning. So we'll start forward here, and he just goes when he's ready. And up. And those are some tricks that you can do in two person, one rope. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.